Hi, I am Jim, your SAT tutor for the Functions Unit. In this lesson, we'll go over the standard types of questions involving symbols that appear on the SAT. Symbols may look confusing or intimidating if you aren't used to working with them, but they really function like variables. All you need to do is treat them like a picking numbers problem and follow the basic rules of math. For example, if you have a symbols problem with parentheses, you would work out what's in the parentheses first, just as you always would. So 20 circle cross parentheses 3 times 5 parentheses becomes 20 circle cross 15. Remember that circle cross isn't a math symbol. It means whatever the SAT tells you it means. Let's jump in and solve a symbol question. Let x circle cross y equal x plus y squared over x for positive integers x and y. Which of the following is equivalent to 3 circle cross 4? Here are the answer choices, all of which are in fraction form. Let's underline the facts, circle the key terms, and label our answer choices as 3 circle cross 4, since that's what we're looking for. This problem is stating that when you see x circle cross y, perform the equation x plus y squared all divided by x. We can see here that it's just like picking numbers, except we're told which numbers to pick. So we want to pick 3 for x and 4 for y. Putting 3 in for x and 4 in for y in the equation, we get 3 circle cross 4 equals 3 plus 4 squared all over 3. Working out the fraction on the right side of the equation, we get 3 plus 4 squared over 3. This works out to 3 circle cross 4 is equal to 19 thirds. Looking at our answer choices, answer choice D is 19 thirds. Circle it. Treating problems with symbols like picking numbers problems really does simplify the process, as we just experienced in our example. Let's work through a trickier problem now, where the answer choices also include symbols. For all integer values of x, let ampersand x be defined by ampersand x equals x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. Which of the following is equal to ampersand 5 minus ampersand 3? Here are our answer choices, and notice that all of them include the ampersand. As always, we'll underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. To solve this problem, we need to calculate both ampersand 5 and ampersand 3, and then subtract the two. To find the value of ampersand 5, let's align ampersand 5 below ampersand x, and we see we need to replace x with 5. So we can substitute 5 in for x, which gives us 5 plus 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 2, or 5 plus 6 plus 7, which equals 18. Now we need to calculate the value of ampersand 3, so let's substitute 3 for x. Our equation for ampersand 3 becomes 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2, or 3 plus 4 plus 5, which equals 12. We now know that ampersand 5 is equal to 18, and ampersand 3 is equal to 12. Subtracting ampersand 3 from ampersand 5 gives us 18 minus 12, or 6. The question asks which of the following is equal to ampersand 5 minus ampersand 3, so we need to find the answer choice that equals 6. Notice that choice C is ampersand 6. That's a trick answer. Ampersand 6 is not 6. It's actually 6 plus 7 plus 8, which equals 21. Cross out answer choice C. Since we know that ampersand 6 gives us a much larger number than the one we're looking for, let's try using the smallest number in our answer choices. Looking at answer choice A, ampersand 1 equals 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2, or 1 plus 2 plus 3, which does equal 6. So we know that A is the right answer. Let's give ourselves a small symbol of victory for sticking it out through that solve. Great work. Now seems like a good time to do a pause and solve. Grab some paper and a pencil. When I say pause, you'll pause this video and solve the problem. When you unpause the video, we'll go over it together. Here's the question. If diamond x diamond equals 2x plus 2 and star x star equals x minus 2, then diamond star 4 star diamond equals a 2, b 4, c 6, or d 8. Now it's up to you. 
Ready, set, pause. And we're back. How was that one on your own? Let's work through this problem together to make sure we get the same answer. As always, we'll start by underlining the facts, circling the keywords, and labeling the answer choices. We know that star x star equals x minus 2. And if we look closely, we see that the question contains star 4 star. Star 4 star is in the same form as star x star, so let's start our work here. If star x star equals x minus 2, then star 4 star equals 4 minus 2, which equals 2. Now we can go back to the question and replace star 4 star with 2. So we're left with diamond 2 diamond. If we look back at the rules at the top of this question, we see that diamond x diamond equals 2x plus 2, so diamond 2 diamond equals 2 times 2 plus 2. And that equals 6. So the correct answer is C. As we've seen, symbols are a lot easier than they look. As long as you're aware of tricky answer choices with symbols and follow basic math rules, like solving inside the parentheses first, you're well on your way to acing these questions on the SAT. Now that you've learned about symbols, make sure you solve some of the many practice problems available throughout this course.